What's up everyone, Chuck Bailey with The Bass Channel here and today we're going to be talking about this bad mamma jamma, the GK Legacy 800. Let's check it out. So, thank you for watching, and uh, if you're new here, uh, we appreciate you checking out our sweet videos. Well, I think they're sweet anyways. Like, comment, subscribe, obey, and, ooh, we have merch, huh? Check it out. If you didn't see, my uh, my debut video was on the Stingray video, so this was a nice little tip of the hat to me. Uh, it says the bass channel on there. We got tons of other merch, though, uh, if you don't like Stingrays. I don't know why you wouldn't. I like basses. Uh, but check it out, and uh, you can see that below. Uh, in between comment, trash talking, all that, I'm here for it. So let's get started. was the uh, debut of the uh, RB series, and the Legacy, which is so aptly named, uh, is the tip of the hat to that. This amp is probably one of the cleanest, clearest amps you can have, and it's really, really uh, versatile for all kinds of genres. All the tones you're gonna hear in the demo uh, and, and in this video are gonna be through the GKCX210 cap, and the mic is the Electro Voice RE320. A very similar aesthetic that you might uh, recognize and notice for all of you RB fans. Uh, I know there was some pitchforks and torches uh, as uh, the RB series was uh, discontinued, but there's this is great. You're gonna like it. We're gonna go through all the tones, the capabilities, its options. It is a class D. Unlike the Fusion S, this does not have a tube stage pre. There are no tubes, it's complete class D circuitry. You still have nice clarity, growl, uh, and, and presence, um, but none of the None of the two. The amps themselves come in 500 watt, 800 watt, and 1200 watt. This particular one that we're going to be talking about is 800 watts.
Uh, there's a uh, separate overdrive uh, channel that's here. When you flip the switch, lights on red, that means your overdrive channel and the controls are active. So you can get some really nice growly, bitey tones out of this. And then playing with the trim knob coupled with the drive and the edge knob below here, uh, gets you a, a pretty wide range of usable tones, not just for drive that you would normally associate a drive channel with. Uh, you'll see that in the video, it's pretty cool. Unlike the Fusion S, uh, where you would uh, press the knobs, the illuminated knobs, to go to the different voicings, these three switches here give you the option to, with a quick flip of your finger, turn individual uh, voicings on, if you want all three on, or one or the other. This specific difference that was, you know, one that I noticed that it was kind of a nice, nice to have access to fast, is uh, the option to turn them on fast with just the flip of a switch. Uh, your standard uh, GK4 band EQ, you got bass, low mid, high mid, and treble. Uh, each one of these is centered at 60, 250, 1K, and 7K on the treble side. Pretty impressive. All right, that about wraps it up. Hopefully you found this engaging, enlightening, and not nauseating. I want to thank uh, GK for uh, for sending this out uh, for us to check out. It was really rad. If you are again, if you if you're not already subscribed, if you're not checking out the the hitting the notifications for the base channel, you're messing up. Uh, also, if you are not a Patreon subscriber to that as well, five dollars. Uh, it's five dollars is nothing. It's probably. Uh, less than some of those fancy crazy coffee secret menu stuff that you guys get at Starbucks or wherever you go. Everybody's gonna be like, I don't go to Starbucks. Whatever. Five dollars is nothing. You've spent it on way dumber stuff, I know it. I know I have. Uh, put it on the Patreon and get access to all kinds of content that you wouldn't normally see in our regular videos. Thanks guys for watching. I appreciate you guys checking it out. Leave any kind of comments. Love it, hate it, like it, eat it, whatever. We're here. I'm Chuck with the Base Channel. Thanks. Take care.